This is one of the world's biggest ships, Brits. Welcome back to another beautiful, beautiful day at sea. Now oh, look at that, guys! Believe me, I just cannot get over this morning. Just cannot. So beautiful. In today's episode, I'm going to give you a tour of this entire bridge on board Mankeba Mersk. What all equipments we have for navigation, distress, GMDSS, etc. So stay tuned. Before we proceed further, I just wanted to tell you that we are right now at anchorage, so everything is safe. And uh, I am off duty. The second mate is on watch, so I am just making it to uh, help you guys know better when you are in college or academy that how a navigation bridge looks. So let's start with the entrance. This is the stairway to the navigation deck. If we, that's the layout. And if we go up, it's just one deck above the F deck on the ship. And this is how it starts. This is our computer from which we do our emails etc and this is our planning exodus this is where the passage plans are made by the second mate we do the chart corrections the temporary preliminary corrections etc so this is the monitor for route planning station this is our printer for obvious reasons for taking out printouts of the passage plans and uh, some uh, paperwork which i have as third mate then uh, this is our stationary section and uh, if you see over here this is our navtex this is number 1 gps speed log and our master clock so basically gps is for obvious reasons position speed log is for again speed through water and a distance we calculate which is known as the log and this navtex is used for delivering meteorological or navigational warnings and about the master clock if you haven't checked my previous videos then do check them out i showed how we retard our clocks or even advance our clocks then moving on from this area we have this document section where we keep all the files and some books for help like uh, principles of navigation and i can show you a few bridge procedure guides and uh, some danish books because this is a danish flagship from the book area let's proceed to this particular station this is our gmdss console as you see over here now gmdss means global maritime distress safety systems it is when suppose if the ship is sinking how to alert the ships in vicinity or the coast stations so for that we have this sat c number 1 number 2 then we have this mf hf console which is like medium frequency high frequency for ranges greater than like 500 nautical miles and further for the shorter range we have another equipment which i'll show you and inmersats basically are for satellite transmissions we can send messages via email from this and we can also send distress messages and you can see distress buttons over here also on the mf hf and this is the radio telephone for it this laptop over here is very important it is not for gaming or anything this is our backup laptop for a chart correction so in case our first computer fails this is the backup and everything is updated here weekly these are our portable vhfs and these are basically used when there is a ship close by and we need to send across a message only for like radio telephony and uh, hopefully we never get to use it then we have a laminating machine very important i'll tell you why because Sometimes we need to make menu like this for a coffee machine and then uh, laminate it chokes apart for official uh, like pages etc this is important this is our uh, radio charger station and before we go to the main section let's first find out the fun section this is where we have our cookies trackers coffee machine you open you'll see nothing much here that's the amount of tea we have flavored teas and uh, green tea below some more stock and here we have some 
light line throwing appliances LTA and rocket parachutes so these are distress signals which uh, we use in case we are in distress wash basin lights cups creamer milo you'll find this on every ship and this is my favorite section section where we have our beautiful green plants and uh, the four to eight ab generally is taking care of them but i make sure they are not dry on the plant area comes the barograph and the barometer these are used for measuring the pressure and if there's low pressure suddenly then we have to be on alert that there could be a storm coming and uh, we have some life saving rescue methods this is a sart and this is the epub so epub is basically emergency position indicating radio beacon used in case we are sinking to send it to a coast station via the satellite and sart is like search and rescue transponder so if suppose there is a ship right there and we are in distress then we can activate it and they can see it on the x band radar that uh, there is some blips coming and then concentric circles so they know okay we need we, we are someone who need help then let's go outside outside we have a thermometer and of course a beautiful view of the sea so on top at regular intervals you will see these white kind of things and uh, these are smoke detectors so just in case if there is fire and the person on uh, the bridge is unconscious then this will activate and then uh, we do a fire muster and then fight the fire if it is possible let's move on to the main section of the bridge now it starts from here here we have a few log books and a few stamps inside over here so all official business is carried out here then we have two echo sounders one aft one forward and you can see depths below 17.1 meter below keel 19.2 meters below keel so this means this is the depth from the bottom most part of the ship which is known as the keel to the uh, seabed then we have our normal telephone a vhf this is our number 3 vhf and uh, our gps number 2 search lights which are i'll just try to show you we can see from here and yeah you can see uh, those are the search lights on both the sides moving on this is our bridge watch alarm reset button and the buzzer then as you see now here we have multiple panels all of them are integrated with one another like all of them let's start one by one this is the monitor for ecdis on the starboard side this is basically our primary station i stay over here to navigate the ship therefore i have the s band radar in front of me and this s band radar can also be converted into ecdis and this ecdis can also be converted into radar so that that's what means integrated also one more interesting fact we can put a chart over here from the options here so if we switch it off you'll see the charts gone and if i switch it on you see the charts are back on so beautiful system i must say sam watsila system then we have main engine rpm indicator starting air indicator this is the maneuvering panel for number 2 engine so on this ship we have two engines and if you haven't checked the engine room tour video yet then do please check it and then come back so this is the telegraph so one handle is for number 2 engine the other for number 1 engine and the panel for the number 1 is over here same thing we have number 1 main engine rpm indicator number 1 starting air indicator so we have two bow thrusters number 1 number 2 from kawasaki and kawasaki is my uh, motorcycle kawasaki ninja 650 okay i miss it anyway on ma we had uh, from rolls royce so this is a bit cheaper version vhf number 2 telephone and uh, before we continue i'll just show you the vhf number 1 is over here situated so one two over here and three and portable vhs there so we can maneuver the ship with various methods and number one is like if you switch this knob to nfu you can see number one nfu tiller number two number one so these will uh, control the rudder and the rudder angle indicator is for number one is here number two is here so this is how it looks then we have 
the mini wheels which you can see over here also on the bridge wings both the sides which i'll go there and show you then autopilot autopilot system can be controlled from this particular joystick and uh, various uh, things over here and most of the time we are using autopilot because at sea you don't require to hand steer the ship because the autopilot is more efficient and how can we forget the main wheel this particular thing and uh, i'll give i'll put a demonstration of how the rudder moves so right now it's on mini wheel if i give a uh, port 20 then you'll see the rudder indicator number 1 rudder port 20 on rudder number 2 as well so these movements are only possible because we are at anchor otherwise we don't just give port 20 or starboard 20 at uh, at high speeds so let's put the wheel back and uh, we have emergency telegraph over here then uh, this is the steering gear unit for starboard side so we have four pumps each for each uh, steering gear system number 1 number 2 and then we have a control unit for whistle and uh, horn this is like the overview of this console section many things here and how can we forget this is the heading the gyro repeater and on top over here inside we have the magnetic compass connected on the monkey island which i'll show you some day for the magnetic compass we have a repeater here as well digital version and we have a repeater for gyro 1 uh, gyro 2 and ext means uh, magnetic so this then we have this conning monitor over here we can find the wind direction current and uh, etc etc which is relevant from there we move on to the x band radar same thing x this we can switch over and uh, this is like i said a very high fi system which i like so we have mostly covered everything on this particular area except the lights which can be used switch on and then we have this last section of the front panel and here we have this banwas bridge navigation watch alert system and duty alarm panel vhf i showed you this is a repeater for the uh, gmdss equipments mfhf satc 1 vhf vhf 2 this is the pa pa is like public address so uh, you will see speakers like this all over the ship so once i pick this up and say something then it will go to the entire ship everywhere then we have this cargo hold smoke repeater panels sound reception unit the window is heated so if you see closely uh, you will see uh, the camera is not so good that you will see the lines but there are small lines over there which are at the heating coils and uh, next we have this fire detection alarm panel window wipers then uh, general alarm this is if you press this there will be a general alarm which is like seven short blast followed by one long blast and for fire we have this you have to break the glass and finish this is the water mist system and we have water mist in number 1 main engine two generators auxiliary boiler purifiers etc this is the water tight door indication panel so this means it is open and green means it is closed and all water tight doors to be kept closed while at sea these are our fire pumps 1 2 3 so uh, emergency fire pump is different location emergency stops so we can have a look what all does these two buttons uh, stop this is our cams control so from here we can monitor some parameters of the engine and what all is happening control our ballast then listing and uh, other things so from the cams unit that's the overview two chairs and these chairs can be moved by just like stepping on them then stop and then you know let it come back behind the panel we have a fog bell and gong signal activator then elevator alarm so if in case somebody gets stuck in the elevator then this will buzz anti rolling tank panel lights navigation lights 
other lights and these are for the deck lights outside so we have like lower gangway aft station forward station arrival departure then we have the course recorder for both the rudders starboard port this is a control panel for duct heaters and this is the pilot door uh, indicator so we have got four pilot doors which you might have seen if you are following me from long time one more thing i forgot is that there are dimmers over here just below the main wheel you can see here these are for these indication wait let's go there i'll show you a closer look so this is anemometer speed log indicator rpm this is clinometer so in case the ship is moving starboard port then this goes like starboard port itself then a gyro repeater and the rate of turn indicator and if you come down to the beautiful view of the sea and this is like my favorite spot in the morning take some sunshine with some uh, hot water or tea and then moving on we have the gyro uh, <coughs> repeater with the azimuth and we can take the bearing of like suppose there is a ship over there so you can take the bearing from here and there's a side here and there is a small uh, indicator which uh, is not possible to see but if you want to see how to take bearings gyro etc then do put in the comment section so that's how the bridge looks from the forward this is where the pilot or the captain sits and this is where i sit when i am navigating and i am uh, in command two things here the oldest lamp inside here spare bulbs and the oldest lamp is actually situated here it's the oldest lamp you switch it on then you can like you can see right ah very tough to uh, handle it with one hand from here we have one more thing to cover which is our flags so all alpha to zulu flags are here country flags wherever we go is inside here then we have the num number flags and substitute flags this chair is used sometimes by the pilots in the swiss canal and these are the spare flags see the p touch okay guys so yeah we have drawers as well third officer chief or second officer pilot office items behind we also have this navigation locker so go inside you can see the life jackets immersion suit and some uh, spares for navigation equipments oh i forgot one more thing we have a fridge which is full of coke or milk here yeah. water let's now move on to the bridge wing console so this is how the bridge wing console looks overall so i'll just give you a quick view of what all we have here starting with mini wheels telegraph bow thruster rate of turn speed log vhf pa telephone and uh, yeah same more or less the same things which we have over there just repeaters so main engine rpm indicator gyro repeater echo sounder anemometer and this is a conning display so you can see the drift angle and the sideways movement of the ship very helpful for pilots and captain when suppose they are bringing the ship alongside to a port so they need all these data to get her alongside safely so the length of the ship you can see 146.5 m forward and 252.45 m aft and the beam that means from here to the other side is around 60 meters let's go back to the main console before that we also have a water fountain and a small portable aircon just in case the main aircon fails then uh, the equipment get very uh, heated up so we need a cooling system backup so guys i'm just going to give you a fish eye view of the entire layout now so that's all we covered here overall picture and a huge bridge as you can see huge and these are the bridge wings 
Well, I'll just go outside for a second and give you a view of the Monkey Island. And some fire hose boxes. Let's go up. And that's the radars. What a view. The most important thing. Uh, guess what guys, guess what. Just guess till the time I take this out. What do you think? What do you think is inside here? Yes! We still have a sextant which I have hardly used and it doesn't come in use anymore, believe me. So guys, before I close this video, do let me know in the comment section what all equipment you would like to know more about and I'll try to cover them in specific videos. And if you gain some good new knowledge from this video, and the bridge and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video and see you back for another day in the life at sea series and guys this is how the bridge looks at night and these are for anchor lights